All right, what's up, guys? JR here. It is Thursday, March the 15th, 2018. Um, just going to try and make a pretty chill trading day video today. Um, just going to record my trading day once again. I'm trading the ES and the Russell today. Um, pretty much, I've kind of refined my trading a little bit, just been playing around, trying to figure out what works best for me, and I've come to the point and pretty much established that I really only like trading traps. And those are essentially the only trades that I look for. We have a second entry short right here on the ES. I'm not going to take it, though. It might work. It might not. <clears throat> but I'm not going to take it. And another thing is that um, I also only look for two-point two point moves on the ES. So I try and keep my ratio one-to-one. -one. I haven't been doing this for long enough to really be able to accurately speak on whether or not I think it's going to be something that's going to last in the long run but over the past two weeks I've been able to get that easily if you pick the right trades so um, yeah second entry right here I'll probably take this if maybe we pull back one or two more times and I see something that looks like a suitable enough trap then I'll go ahead and take that to the downside right now it's looking like it's going to be a range day so ultimately I'm anticipating that we should come on down here and retest these lows but at a minimum, I think we're at least going to retest the low for this move down, the short-term trend down. Um, one more thing is that we had a measured leg down, so this would be the first leg, and then this would be the second leg. We pretty much got that, so we could get another leg up like this. I don't think that's what's going to happen, but you never know. You just need to be prepared, and it's looking like that second entry short is going to fail. I don't really think we're going to go much higher but um that's looking like a pretty strong reversal so we may end up going higher but yeah so i'll be back once i see something that i like all right so um we corrected for a little bit and now i'm looking at this as a failed second entry long because i still think we're going to come on down here and retest these lows at least retest the low for this so if this little attempt to go higher fails that's going to be the trap that I need, and I'm going to go ahead and go short. So we'll see how that plays out. I'm also watching a possible short on the Russell as well. I'm looking to go short. It'll be a failed second entry long as well. And we should take out these lows and get a retest for this low down here. So those are the two setups I'm keeping my eye on at the moment. So we'll see what happens. All right, so we have a relatively bearish bar right here. I'm not going to take this, though, because I don't like how strongly we pushed up through the EMA. It's also a triple bottom right there, and this is an incredibly bullish bar. Um, I would have liked it more if we just turned down right off the EMA, so I'm going to wait and see if I can get another attempt to go higher and see if that fails. This may be the trade right here. I may miss it, but I don't care. I'm not particularly... Um, press to really try and force anything I'm just I, I like to wait for what I like to see completely and this isn't exactly what I would have liked to see I don't like how strongly we pushed through that EMA right there so <clears throat> I'll see what happens this could even end up turning into a long setup I still think we're gonna go lower but I'm gonna wait and see if I can get another attempt to go higher that fails and then I'll take it from there all right so I see a possible setup over here on the Russell probably going to go ahead and go long right here. Let me make this full screen. Just going to go ahead and get my order ready. Order submitted. Put it one tick above that. All right, so we're in this trade. Going to go ahead and go long. We have a short trap. Um, failed second entry short. The failure is actually right here, but then when you have that other attempt to go lower right there, I'm pretty sure that we got them. Uh, there's a good amount of buy stops that should be located somewhere in this region, so we should see nice momentum to the upside. And this is a, um, I guess you can say it's a two-point target. It's $100. We're moving up pretty nicely now. Let me go ahead and mark my entry. I don't know what the ES is doing, but I'm assuming that the ES is running right now as well. And uh, this is beautiful. And uh, we pretty much got that all in one bar. We'll see how this bar closes. It'd be nice if we did get it all in one bar. I apologize if I sound a little bit congested as well. I was sick last week. I had a bit of a cold. And my nose is still kind of blocked. I'm going to go ahead and move my stop to break even. That's pretty much what I do once we get close to these things. Because there's been a couple times where I've come so close to getting my target. There was one time where I actually touched my target 
turned around, reversed, and stopped me out for a full minus $100. So now I move my stop to break even. Let me move it to break even plus two. So that way, make it at least $10 off the trade if it does decide to reverse. And our target's right at, <coughs> right at these closes. Let me check on the ES. I'm pretty sure that that went higher as well. Yeah, so this turns into a long setup, but we don't have an actual failed second entry. It doesn't, it doesn't break lower. I hope this doesn't come back and get me. That would be pretty unfortunate, especially when you have a good run like that. I don't think it will, though. But I'm just going to pause it in the meantime, and I'll be back once um, this order gets filled. Alright, so this isn't looking too good. Um, the problem with this is that pretty much since the ES is what seems to be the main determining factor in the movement of all these markets is that um, well, first of all my exit is right up here at these highs um, usually you want to take it off before you get there but that's just kind of the way how it played out with the um, the two point target on this and I'm not gonna mess around with that because usually this thing will turn around and keep running and I'm betting right now that the ES is probably having some form of a slight pullback and that's why we're pulling back here because I know we were at the highs and so that was the initial pullback and now we're going higher on the ES so we're probably going a little bit higher on the Russell let's look and see and uh, yeah this bar is retracting now as well so I'm just hoping that we um, we push on higher because this is a great trade um, you trap the shorts you have support right down here initially I thought we were gonna go lower we still could have gone lower but that's not what the overall that's not what they wanted to do apparently and that's why it's good to wait for a good and proper setup and uh, you get a nice trap right here with this second attempt to go lower I'm counting this as my first attempt pullback second attempt nice bearish bar you break out of the bottom turn around and break out of the top all in the same bar and then this is a huge bullish continuation bar and that's pretty much due to the buy stops that are situated right up top here from the people that uh, decided to go ahead and short and I know if we are able to break above this, then we should get another pop and more continuation to the upside. But I'm going to try and play it safe, and hopefully we can make it out after. Um, hopefully we can make it out right here. So I'm just going to go back to pause, and I'll come back again. Stop All right, so that's pretty unfortunate. We just got stopped out there on that beautiful trade. Um, now watch it turn around and go ahead and hit where the target would have been. I think that was ten dollars we just made on that. It sucks. Yeah, ten dollars. Okay, we'll look for another one. Okay, so at this point on the ES, um, in my mind, I'm thinking we may get a measured move of this leg up. It really just depends on if this range plays out. I'm thinking we're probably going to continue going higher, and the measured move puts us up at, I think it was about 68.75. Let me just go ahead and measure that again so you guys can see it. It's your first leg right there. Then I'm just looking for a second leg up top there, and the price is 68.75. I'm thinking that's probably where we're going to go. Um, the bias has been up. Uh, with the exception of this range, but even in the range, the bias is still up. So we'll see what happens. All right, another thing to add is that we could get a measured leg of this leg right here. It's one leg and then two legs of correction. So this is quite possible. We could reverse right here as well. But those are just two, two possible over here. Possible? What is that? Two possible measured moves to um, to take into consideration. And over here on the Russell, if I had left my stop um, where it belonged, I would have been out by now. But I've I've lost like this before, so I just prefer to go ahead and move it up to break even, break even plus a tick or two instead of watching this pullback. Because this pullback could have come all the way back down here. In my opinion, it's not really worth it. I've paid the price for doing that, so I prefer to just slide it on up and protect myself. Alright, so I'm thinking I'm probably going to go short here on the ES. Let me go ahead and Order submitted. slide that right there. Position open. Order submitted. And we will look for 
two points on that. Let me tighten my stop. It's a failed second entry long. This is your swing high, first entry right there, a pullback, second entry right there. It's also a long trap. Um, essentially, that's really what a failed second entry long is, but we had a nice move down, and I'm thinking we're going to get a retest on that. I like the way we pulled back and kind of tested the EMA twice. I like the way this was a double bottom. We had a failed break beneath that, turned back up, made it look like we were going to go higher, snapped off the EMA, and then this is a really nice rejection bar. So... I like this trade overall. Uh, we have two and a quarter points worth of risk on, and we're looking for a two point target. So, just going to go to pause, and I will be back as this trade begins to play out. It's looking like I may have gotten trapped on this trade. We made a double bottom, turned back up with a pretty bullish bar. Um, still not over yet, though. I may still have a chance with this. We could tick one tick higher turn around and really plummet through that or we might not even tick higher we may just turn around and just drop but we'll have to see okay we're working down now um fortunately i think this just served as an even better long trap so if we can push through here we should definitely drop and get this two point target we just need this continuation to um keep on working to the downside and not to reject off this double bottom right here and uh, one thing that could happen is we could get a measured leg like this one back up, and if that's the case, then um, it's going to turn into a loser if that happens. And this is a good bit of rejection on this bar. If I wasn't already in this trade short, I'd probably have a buy stop waiting above this bar if we did break higher, because if I feel like if we break higher above this bar, we're probably going to get blown away with that measured move. It might not happen. We might still reject off the EMA and continue going lower. So I'm not going to reverse or close this trade. I'm just going to see what happens. We keep testing these lows and rejecting off of it. I don't like that, but um, I'm feeling like we're still going to go lower. I just don't like this rejection. And I know that this can either work against us or for us, um, against us in the aspect that we keep bouncing off of it. Okay, so now we're, we're pushing through it. We should get that drop down now. But if we didn't push through this, that's a pretty good sign that we were, in fact, going to go higher. And um, if I wasn't already in this trade short, I'd have a buy stop waiting right above that bar. Probably not this one, but I'd have one waiting right above this bar because that's a pretty good sign that you're going to go higher. Um, <clears throat> all right, so that's nice. That's a quick $100 off that trade. I'm going to look for one more. And, um, yeah, nice two points off that one. All right, so I have a possible short setup right here on the Russell. It looks pretty good to me. It's a second entry short. It's also a failed second entry long right off the EMA. It's just the thing that's keeping me out of this is that we have a measured move. Um, this is the first leg down, and then this is going to be the second leg down. It's pretty much a measured move to the exact tick. And the main reason why I'm staying out of this, I'm, I might still take it. I'm not completely sure yet, is this, this, um, this ES. You have a triple bottom right here. The bias is down. We should come on down here and retest these lows. It's just that I can see this thing reversing. It does look like it could set up a short setup, but this triple bottom is really intimidating. And yeah, we may go ahead and reverse because this is just sketchy overall. And it's looking like the um, the Russell is getting ready to reverse as well. And what I would actually do, what I wouldn't be opposed to, is um, going long right here on the Russell if we did in fact break higher I'm gonna go ahead and put my order in there actually because it's relatively small risk um, so we'll see what happens on that one but I'm just gonna go to pause and if it doesn't come up and tick me in then I'll just forget about it we could still go lower it does look like it's a short setup but uh, with that measured move and then that like triple bottom over here on the ES I'm not particularly um, liking the idea of going short too much so uh yeah i'll have to see what happens it's looking like i may have missed a pretty good trade because i'm thinking we're going to punch through this bottom um oh well if that's what happens then that's what happens i'm not particularly um looking to force anything so if i get a pullback on the uh on the russell it doesn't look too 
reversal like yeah there we go then um, I may still go ahead and try and enter this trade but yeah all right so I decided to go ahead and drop the limit order back in there to see if I could get filled on this trade on the Russell um, it's only fifty five dollars worth of risk that's relatively small my target is a hundred dollars so if this does come back and get me then oh well but I still like the trade um, so I'll see what happens but it's reversing right now but if we turn down again then that'll be a failed second entry long as well this is a pretty strong looking reversal so maybe I'll live to regret dropping this limit order in there uh, yeah it's looking like I'm gonna regret that but if that's the case then I'll look for one more trade after this and I'll call it a day that's a pretty strong buying right there alright so that second entry long just failed right here so this should be the make or break if this turns up and fails then we're probably gonna get stopped out and if it drops on down then we should be good uh, the bias is still looking down these lows are progressive I mean these highs are progressively getting lower uh, we made a lower low right there so we'll just have to see I think it's really mainly up to the ES so let's take a look at that and it's looking like it's pulling back right here probably due to that area of support usually they want to come back and test it but um, you have a first entry long right here pull back second entry long right there that's a pretty good pop let me see what's going on on the Russell okay so right now I'm on the fence of whether or not I should close this trade um, this isn't really what you want to see. It's been stuttering, hesitating. Gradually it is getting lower, but if you come over here and you look at the ES, it's it's pushing up. Um, yeah, it's 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 130. I'm gonna go ahead and close this. I'll see if I can hopefully it's not too late to get a tick or two out of this. I'll go for oh, two ticks. Better. And hopefully yeah, it's probably too late. All right, so we just got stopped out there, unfortunately. I think that was about $55. Yeah, $55. Okay, so we'll look for one more. All right, I'm debating if I should jump back in right here or not. Uh, I think I will. So I still think we're gonna go lower. Hopefully I didn't just get left behind. And this is going to be a full $100 worth of risk on the trade. I think I may have just missed it. That kind of sucks, but maybe not. Okay, so we're in the trade. I'm going to be pretty aggressive with trailing this stop. So once we um, make it down to this low, I'll probably move my stop to break even and et cetera. I'll trail it pretty nicely because if we don't push through here, which this is where majority of the sell stop should be located from the people who bought. If we don't push through there, then I definitely don't want to be in this trade any longer. I think we will, though. This is looking pretty decent to the downside. Um, thought initially we were going to go lower right there thought we had it right there but apparently not they just wanted to push on up if I would put my stop above where the actual swing high was I would have survived the trade and I wouldn't have given anything back that's technically where it's supposed to be if you really want to protect yourself but I was trying to be conservative with the trade uh, due to the fact that we had a measured move working lower and the ES looked like it was about ready to pull back one more thing that I will add that I should have been paying attention to is the fact that there was a trend line working down on the ES and we actually had just come off the lower end and right now we're at the lower end as well so this could still pull back so that's just something to keep in mind while in this trade but I'm just gonna go to pause because I don't know how long this video is already and I don't want it to be too long alright so we just took out this low so my stop is at break even 
Um, gonna leave it specifically at break even. It's looking like it's gonna come back and get me. Uh, it came back to get me. Oh well, we could go higher from here, so. Let me check the ES. That's still going lower. I think I need to get back in this trade. It may be too late though. Order submitted. Order submitted. Order submitted. I could probably go short underneath this bar, but I'm gonna see if it comes back to get me. Okay, so one more thing to add. The only reason why I've re-entered this trade is due to the rejection that we had off the EMA and um, how this bar kind of came back, got me, and then closed on its low. But what I will do is that I'm going to tighten my stop to two ticks above this bar. So we're going to count this as our new signal bar. One more thing that I could do is I could adjust my target based off this entry. So I could drop my target down to, what price would that be? So the entry price for this would be 80, uh, 89 or 80.9. So I could drop it down to um, 78.9 and see what happens with that. I don't want to get too greedy with this, but I also don't really want to leave too much on the table. Let me check the ES. I think I'm just going to leave it where it is. I'm going to go ahead and put my stop at break even plus two. And we should be out of this trade. Okay, nice. And um, I think that other price was, I think it was 78.9, so we'll see if it hits that. It should hit that relatively easily. And I'm glad that I re-entered that trade. You could have entered right here as well. Okay. Yeah, so $100 for that. So in total, 100 plus 100 minus 55, so... I think that's it. It's 156. I may look for. Uh, I don't. I don't think I need another one. I think that's it. Uh, I'll pause it, and if I decide to take another one, then I'll. I'll come back and take another one. But okay, it's about two o'clock in the afternoon, so I think I'm gonna call it quits for the day. Uh, let me just briefly go over my trades one more time. First trade that I took was this long on the Russell 2000. Uh, it's a trap. Basically, I counted it as a failed second entry short. You get your first attempt to go lower right here, pull back your second attempt to go lower. You're coming off the lows, you have some support. Uh, you get that bearish bar. We turn down, turn around and reverse all in the same bar and break out of the top. This came, I think, about a tick or two away from my target. My target was right there at those highs. I think it came about a tick or two away from it. I tightened my stop to break even plus two, got stopped out um, for $10, made $10 off that trade. If I had left my stop where it belonged, then I would have scalped out at the complete $100 for the trade, but I've done that before, and it has come back and stopped me out, and I've lost I've taken a full stop by doing that, so now I just try and tighten my stop when I feel like it's necessary, and this was a time when I felt like it was necessary, so that was my first trade. Uh, my second trade was over here on the ES. We have what is, um, this? what was this? This was a failed second entry long. It's basically a short trap. I mean, basically a long trap. Pretty much we had a range, uh, trend working lower, so we needed a retest for this low. We had a failed break out of the highs of the range, so I expected us to go lower. 
we had a double bottom right there, then a failed break beneath that by one tick, and then you have a turn up with a relatively bullish bar. We broke above that, turned down with a bearish bar. So I liked going short right there. It took a little bit to work out, then the bottom kind of dropped. Then the next trade I took was back over here on the Russell. It's a failed second entry long as well as a second entry short. If I had left my stop where it actually belonged up top above this swing, I would have survived the trade, but instead I put it one tick above my signal bar. It came back, stopped me out. I decided to re-enter right here, um, tighten my stop to break even once we took out this low, bounced back, stopped me out again at break even, then I re-entered due to the rejection that we had off of the EMA right here, but I re-entered in my initial location because this bar came back and corrected and then the bottom fell so that's it i don't know how long this video is um, hopefully it's not longer than 30 minutes but hopefully you guys enjoyed this this was a full day of trading for me uh, 155 dollars worth of profits uh, just subtract the commissions which is three dollars and 58 cents and then you have a net profit for the day i haven't done the math i'll do that afterwards but yeah um, I, haven't, I haven't really been making videos too often I've pretty much just been trying to focus on the actual aspect of trading because I enjoy just kind of trading without any additional distractions of making a video I prefer to really be in the moment while I'm trading so um, I don't know how frequently I'll continue making the videos but I'll try and do them every now and then but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this and I'm still alive still doing well I feel like Currently, right now, I feel like I'm better than ever, so that's also great, and uh, just taking it day by day, and things have been looking how I actually want them to look for once, so yeah, this is JR, hopefully you guys are getting better, and hopefully you enjoyed this, but I will see you when I see you.